Body percussion, it, it can be used for a variety of things and for a variety of different benefits. There's obviously the musical development, so kind of in terms of rhythm and pulse and dynamics and all sorts of other kind of musical elements. There's also the kind of coordination side of things, which can be quite an interesting one to develop when you're kind of talking to teenagers because their limbs are here, there and everywhere. But it can be a kind of a nice one to kind of, right, okay, with, they're listening to this rhythm. This is what we're going to achieve with our bodies. Stomp, and again. The rhythm like that. Two claps. The rhythm like that. Stop. Body percussion could be used as a platform to explore various other benefits such as well-being um, and collaborative learning and uh, cre creativity in general. and also um, taking risks, kind of creatively, safely taking risks, but with a kind of a growth mindset. So with a kind of thought of, I'm gonna make a mistake and that's fine. Um, either that the way you get better at stuff is through making mistakes and learning from them and getting better and better through that process, but also thinking, actually, sometimes the mistake can be such a fun mistake, it actually became, becomes the thing you intend to do. You make a mistake twice, it's no longer a mistake. And I think the pedagogical reason for bringing Ollie over is that we want the kids to really understand about internalising rhythm and pulse. Um, and they can do that um, just using body percussion, body music alone, or we can actually encourage them to compose body percussion to fit with a piece of music that they are familiar with. So our primary chorus had an absolutely amazing time with Ollie today. He got them to do all sorts of body percussion, which was really great for their steady beat and rhythm. And he really was able to reach down to their level as eight to 11 year olds. And I'm super excited because he helped us work on one of our songs we're using in our future concert. And so the kids are really excited now to bring this element into the concert to show their parents and to show sort of what we did today and, uh, and just get to experience that again. So um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun and the kids really had an awesome time and learned a lot and were just super engaged the whole time. So during the course of the session, we did some solo compositions and performances. We did some small group versions of that. And we also did en masse kind of whole group stuff. One, two, three, one, oh, no. This afternoon, I'm going to be working with a series of choirs. And I've been uh, kind of told uh, a few of the tunes that they've been learning. So I've kind of based some rhythms um, that are partly kind of the general groove or even indeed kind of some of the rhythms of some of the words that they're singing. But I'll also be do going through some kind of general body percussion stuff as well so that they can explore how to combine singing with body percussion. We also musically then went to Brazil and learnt the clave rhythm, um, which is a big kind of feature of Latin American music, and also a rhythm called afoche, uh, which kind of came over from West Africa and is kind of a big part of Afro-Brazilian percussion. <laughs> 